Sorcerers of past and present distinguish themselves with signature talismans, ornate staffs, elaborate wands, charms, and crystals of lurid colouring, appearing almost like that of a surreal comic book with high contrast, brash with bright boldness. In an ocean of vividity, such items are designed to impress and interest the observer more than they are to serve the master who carries them. Mystics of modern magic tend to value these extroverted artifacts, adorned and embellished with trimmings and finery. Shine as they may, gleam as they do, what do they contribute beyond decoration? What do they offer beyond ornamentation? Are they just accessories with the sole purpose of pleasing other people? Or are they extensions of our own eccentricity, perhaps a window to the psyche, revealing our deeper personalities? He who wishes to shine will never be seen, for one cannot stare at the sun for too long. He who wishes to be loud will never be heard, for one cannot tolerate the noise for too long. The master shuns the clamorous culture, all of those who starve to be fed praise so they can feel secure. The master does not partake in the race of rats, therefore he is the winner without running. What kind of talisman does the master value? Something simple, yet powerful, refined and restrained. In a world of insipid items, the masters fades into the background. Others would not give it a second glance, but the master looks every day. The colors muted, a blend of earthly balanced tones, gray like that of an overcast sky, black like that of the great void. The fan is nameless, the bird from which it came lived an unknown tale. The master does not care for perfection. His talisman tells a different story. Unlike its neat and tidy counterparts, the fan has lived a life, its feathers ruffled, torn, even tattered in some places, worn and asymmetrical, the shade of the feathers stained by the rays of the sun. The small decoration that it has is faded, gold triagrams gone to sleep, others will soon join them. The Taiji, dulled by the years of use, the handle, loose after ten years, after being waved back and forth millions and millions of times, perhaps being waved more times than the heartbeats of the unfortunate, and paint peeling as if stars are forming in the night sky. The two feathers on the crown, misshapen and misaligned from fate's twists and turns, like that of a fork on a dusty desert road. The scent of the feathers is like that of fresh mountain air, the smell of sweet grass and summer blossoms. The receding black on the tip where a dark burgundy tassel once hung, now long gone. All that remains is a rivet, a skeleton of the past. Feathers are overlapping each other, their original arrangement lost to time. The fan has listened to every conversation I've had with friends, family and lovers. Its feathers have absorbed every single word. The wispy hairs appearing like fluffy clouds and the stalks jagged and uneven. The fan is imperfect, therefore it reflects life, real and raw. You are looking at my life story of the past fateful ten years through tears, through bliss, through agony, tragedy and victory, we have aged together. Time has changed us both. The breeze that the fan conjures is not quite as cool as it once was. Father time and mother nature have taken their toll. As for me, my right hand is formed in accordance to its shape, like water being poured into a cup. Being empty-handed, is akin to seeing a door without a key, a fish without water, yin without yang. And despite this, the fan has something money cannot buy, nor can it be found. It has character, charm, 
Not the kind of charms from the stores, but the kinds made of dreams and stories. Every mark and scratch, every scuff and dent, reminds me of a day in my past, and it invokes intense emotions within my mind and body. All the people I have loved have held this fan. Some with us still, some are on the eternal journey. I can still smell the scent of old places that I visited, and the only vivid qualities about this fan are the memories it brings to mind. Dull by appearance, dazzling by spirit, it means nothing to you, but to me it is my life force, my infinity.